The very worst part of narcissistic rage is that these people are your friends. These people are your family. These people are people you care so much about. And there's nothing more confusing when they betray you. There's nothing more heartbreaking when you see somebody looking at you with contempt and hatred and malice, wanting to ruin you, wanting to destroy your life, and then, you know, saying the most asinine things and projecting these dark motives and intentions onto you to try to justify the rage. And it's mind boggling, it's perplexing. And you could have dedicated yourself to these people your whole life and everything that you had, you gave and you gave and you gave. And then these people treat you like an enemy. And then they go behind your back and they say the most vile things to other people. You know, they want nothing but to ruin you, destroy you. Because they're so cowardly, they can't, they can't even look inward. You know, just the reflection of your pain conjures more anger in them because they don't like who they are. They don't like who they are being when they're that way. That your pain actually creates the very guilt and shame that they have to bury with more anger, vitriol, and justification. You know, people wonder why they'll see a psychopath stab somebody 200 times. It's because the violent act and the horror that they see in front of them, the terror on the person's face, the screaming, the blood, it makes them present to the monster inside. But they can't contest that pain. And so it's like, you made me this way. And so narcissistic rage is like a self-fulfilling um, grandiose type of anger. You know, I used to watch my dad provoke himself, you know, wait at the house to be a bully, you know, pretend that I wanted to fight him. He would just make that up. Oh, you think you could take your dad? And he would follow me around and try to get me to fist fight him, you know, and that's how they all are. They're cowardly bullies that they get overwhelmed by their own jealousy, their own envy, and you know, they can't be with their own insecurity. And so they just go to destroy the people that care most about them. And so, you know, we could talk all about their, their anger and the stuff, but for people like myself that truly care and are truly inclusive, that dedicated yourselves to people in business, to friends, you know, that, that you did these thoughtful things. Like, you know, some of the biggest betrayals in my life are at the heels of the most thoughtful, selfless acts that I would ever have done for somebody, that they couldn't handle the opportunity of the moment, that they they not only self-sabotaged and imploded on themselves like a like a like a coward, but in the aftermath of their own bullshit, they they have to put that on you and ruin your life. And ruin it in proportion to their own cowardice and self hate that they, they just are never good enough, that their, their emotional and relationship failures forever. They're undeserving of real friendship. They're undeserving of love. They're undeserving. Like, I'm just going to tell you, if a narcissist did that to one person, one person, like you hurt somebody like that and you didn't have the courage to rectify that fully, reconcile it, you'd ever deserve to even be looked at. You don't deserve another, another woman. I mean, if we have like credit reports for people just to buy a used car, we need to start taking notes on some of these people's behavior, you know, or something, man. Like this is, uh, it's just incredible how low these people are. And like living my life now, knowing like, Pretty much all the friends that I had are out. They have very little interest, affinity, or connection to anybody in my past that has done anything like that, family included. That I look at my life now and my business and everything around it, I'm still just picking up the pieces. And so, 
you know, I have really amazing times. I, I love sharing everything here on TikTok and being positive and, and, and strong for all these people. But, you know, I, I still have to be patient that I've, you know, this was all discovered for me in February. I didn't know what narcissists were. I'm so glad I figured it out. But the world is so different. You know, there's no going back. Like, there's no going back. Like, I've seen it. I know who these people are. And it's it's just dark. It's dark and disturbing. That I've forgiven all these people in the past, but now what there is is that the idealization's gone. The fantasy about who they are for me. Yeah, the, the illusion is broken. And I could never see them the same way. I never will. The betrayals, the things that I've done, it's, it's irreconcilable. There's nothing, I don't think there's anything they could ever do to make up for the pain, to make up for all the lost time in my life, the depressions, like just how close I've come, you know, like when I think about how broken I've been at times and I, I think that they did this to me on purpose and then they want to just walk around like it was like, it's cool. Like we're family or like, you know, that's like my ex best friend or, or whatever the fuck. No, hell no.